Hey guys, today I'm here again with another subscription box review. If you haven't tried the activities that come within the subscription box, then you must. These activities are pretty different than the normal toys and also the pictures and colors that comes within the activities of these boxes are quite different and we cannot uh, use the, those pictures and colors at home. Today I'm going to show you what Explorer box has inside for us. So this is actually for 2 plus years of age but I guess we can try and we can see if uh, Rhea who is 19 months old now can also try these activities. I know this is early but we can try. Okay, so box is pretty colorful so this means that it is meant for little toddlers and toddlers will be very happy to see it. First thing it has this big paper that is kind of a rhyme. I'm not that sure how to sing it but I will make something up. Then we have 5 activities inside. Each activity has its own instructions for parents. This is jungle theme box so this means that all the activities have animal content within them. This is the first thing that caught my eye. Animals are the best thing that grabs the toddler's attention. Now coming to the activities. First activity that we opened is this magnetic board. This is magnetic board and two sheets. One for cold weather and one for hot weather. Animals are stick to the magnets so that we can place the animals on the sheets. Magnets are not that strong but I love the concept of telling kids like which animal is in colder weather and which animal lives in hotter weather. Now that Rhea can recognize each of these animals, so explaining her more things is interesting. Where is the monkey? Yes! Where is the giraffe? Hmm? They live in colder areas. And they live in hotter areas. Hot, hot. Gummy. Hot. Cold. Yes. Hot. Yes. What does the tiger say? What does the elephant say? Ooh. Magnets were strong enough if we didn't put any sheet in between the magnetic board and the magnets. So we did enjoy throwing the magnets on the board. <laughs> I have no idea what was so funny in that. Next activity which opened was this one where we have to match the uh, animal prints with the patterns on the board. I thought this would be a little difficult for her and to my amaze this was the easiest one as if she already knew what to match and how to place the animal card in the pattern board. It took her hardly 2 minutes to match all the patterns. And where will the squirrel go? Yes, correct! Then we opened third activity, 3 piece puzzles. It is very simple it seems but for 19 months old it is not that quick. Rhea was not able to match all three pieces initially but when I told her to put in the border, this one, the cutout of the animal, she got the idea of the shape and then started putting the pieces together. More and more she was practicing, more and more it was becoming easy. Next is this feed me activity where I think this one is meant for little older kids. This one was little difficult for Rhea. She was able to put all the fruits on the tree but she didn't understand the concept of looking at the bee and then feeding those fruits to monkey. If it was mango, she fed him all the mangoes. Probably in few days she'll understand but for now she's playing with fruits. Spinning the wheel and feeding monkey as she wants. We feed her dog. Monkey. But one, 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 only one, one. Just feed her. Monkey ko feed her. Apple ka? Apple nikalo pal. Apple. Where's the apple? Yes. Apple feed karo. One, one apple. One apple. Last activity is the one that I intentionally kept it last. And let me tell you, this is going to be very messy. Painting. I have never given her paints before this, so I was not sure of the mess. But was this fun? Oh yeah. Rhea has already painted in her school so to my amaze she already knew how to paint on the canvas and how to uh, hold the sponge.
It was so much fun watching her paint by her little hands. She painted blue first on the canvas and then she painted all the animals. But when it came to sticking the animals on the canvas, there was no sticker as it was mentioned in the instructions. Instead, there was a glue in the box that we didn't use for any of the activities. So I assumed that the glue is for this activity, the painting one. So we used the glue to stick all the animals to the canvas. That's it guys. We had pretty amazing fun playing with the Explorer box. And no matter how many toys we have, no matter how many activities we plan, subscription box activities are always fun and worth buying. Let me know if, how you find the Explorer box activities. If you have any product for me to review, then let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. I will see you next time. Bye.